Hi everyone, welcome back for the tonic haul, um, second and third order from them. This includes uh, included two grab bags, and so this particular video is on the grab bags. And so the first grab bag was a $12.50 or $12.99 uh, media bag. And so I wasn't sure what all to expect. I figured some drops and things, so let's see what I got. And uh, just, you know, I did pay for all this, so I don't have any particular alliance, although I do like their products from what I can tell. Uh, with this only being my second, third order, I haven't had a chance to use a lot out, so we'll see. There are some things on these grab bags I was happy about and some things that I wasn't. And most of the time when I wasn't, it wasn't that I wasn't happy with the product. It's more it was a product I either already had or didn't need in the first place. So here we go. Go ahead and take everything out of this bag. So let's start out with uh, some mousses. I've never tried their mousses. So here is an embellishment mousse. This one's in a pretty gray, um, kind of a charcoal. Well, they're calling it Old Navy. It kind of reminds me of a blue gray. So there's that one. Then there's kind of a chartreuse lime green. They are calling it mousse citrus green. And these are pretty big. If you look at it in my hand, pretty good size on that. And I know I've used similar product uh, from another manufacturer on my uh, embossed. When I do like a flower or sun design on embossed, I'm trying to get to hang in and make some nice uh, products that way. They work good for a background on a card. Or for your feature even. Okay, so next thing is embossing powder. And this is a, a bluish. Uh, they're calling it Serenity Blue. It might ma work, match well with the baby blue that I got in the other pack. But either way, here is a blue embossing powder. This is a charcoal gray embossing powder so I bet that would go with that blue over there and they're calling this hot chocolate I wonder if it, it may have a brown a brownish tone to it if it's hot chocolate all right here's the first item that I would say not even sure I'm going to use but it is a hot pink glow drops I believe I got this exact same shade uh, in my other kit that I paid for so if I get a decent viewership, uh, what I may do is a uh, drawing and uh, give away some products if it's stuff I don't need. So I'm going to gather up things and see what we do. All right. So next we go to the, the item beyond that one that I was like, oh, really? Okay, first off, color, fantastic. Because this matches my colors that were in that hibiscus group. Uh, it's got the teal, the blue, the green, uh, kind of a sky blue. The problem is this is glitter. And I promised my husband long ago that I would not use glitter in the house. Well, actually, what I told him was no glitter in the house. Well, there's glitter in the house, very little of it. Um, if I want to use it, I have to go outside and even then, he's not happy about it coming back in. So, most of the time, he doesn't know. Uh, either way, we've got glitter and some pretty colors. I'll have to decide uh, what I'm going to do on that. On this particular one, I'll probably keep it because it matches my other set. However, they also gave me two bottles of glitter. And so, we've got a treasure chest, kind of a gold, which gold is always handy. Kind of a pearlescent gold, multi-toned, um, also glitter. And then we have Alaskan Blue here, also glitter. These two would be the items I would have to decide if I'm going to keep or not. Alright, next up. These are the world's tiniest drop bottles. You can see there in my hand how little that is. I assume they give these away as samples, uh, maybe at trade fairs or something. This one is a Jewel Drops, which I was happy because I don't have a Jewel drop, so it give me a chance to try one of those. Um, and it's kind of a mint green. 
Then there is a Dream Drop. Don't have any of those either, so it gives me a chance to try that. That one's kind of a, it's a lemon twist, a real pale yellow. And then this one here is Crystal Drops, which is their classic drops kind of. Uh, and it's a small one in the green. The last item and my favorite item in the 12 50 bag and worth about half the cost of it, so that helps, is the pins. And I was kind of hoping these were orange because I need some orange pins um, to supplement the ones I have. But these I thought they were sold out of. This is the Rich Reds, and I think that's a good color range to test them with. Um, and so I was really happy that it came with this. I wish it had included one of their magazines in this one or the other set, but it didn't. But this is this I was happy about. With this and the mousse uh, and the... Um, uh, embossing powder, I think that makes the set worth it to me. All right, so let me move on to the next group real quick. I'm going to throw this in the bag. Sorry. Give me a minute for the housekeeping here. Keep things from getting mixed up because I like to keep them separate. I got them. Okay, so next up is what I got for $50. It is supposedly a $100 value. I believe it is. The only problem is I didn't need or even knew I know I wanted some of the items in here. So we'll have to see what I do on that. And we're going to save the dies for last on here. So we're going to do that towards the end. So let's go over first off the things that I was like, oh, okay. So first off is a pair of scissors, and these are general purpose scissors. They're not necessarily non-stick, and I just ordered a scissor set from Crafter's Companion that's non-stick and that has uh, little ruler markings on it. So, and being a sewer, when I have time for that, um, I have my gingers and other scissors along with my fiskers that I use for ergonomic reasons. So this one I figure... I won't use unless we just use them for the house. Uh, I do like that it has their comfort handle. So like I said, it might be good for the house. Okay, and next thing is it came with some paper. It came with two pearlescent papers and one mirror card. So we've got onyx black and copper and spring silver, kind of a greenish silver on the mirror card. And these are colors that I didn't have in the other paper sets. So that was nice on that one. The other thing that it came with is watercolor card. And if you remember, I had this in the other one. I kind of wish this was the other version. Either way, uh, nice thing is, I mean, when it comes to paper and water card, you'll use them uh, eventually probably. So that I don't mind having the duplicate on. Next up, this is when I went, oh, okay. I have Fiskars snip scissors that are almost exactly like this, and I rarely use them. Mine are real sharp and I tend to cut myself on them because they're so pointed on the end. They're nice for some fine tune work, uh, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do on these. So I don't know that I need two snip scissors, but they're called spring cut fine tip detail. The next one that I was like, huh, is the craft knife. Now, I don't have a problem with this, except for I just purchased the one from Crafter's Companion that they had on special. It would give me a chance to compare. Yay! Um, I wanted something that I could do fine-tuned work, not just a big blade for cutting around shapes. And so, I am looking forward to maybe trying this, but we'll have to think about that. Next one that was kind of, huh, okay, is their stamping block. Once again, I have the set of the rolling ones from Crafter's Companion, the rocker blocks. But this will let me compare or I can decide what I'm going to do on this. So it is interesting. It is a nice big one here. 
It's got a grid on it, so that's nice, and it's see-through, so you can see. This stuff here, I saw it on their side. I don't know. I do have foam flowers from Crafter's Companion that I could make, and maybe I would use this with it, or just paper flowers. Um, I'm just afraid that's going to make a mess like glitter and embossing powder, so we'll see. And the other item that I was like, what in the world is that? This is like the world's tiniest precision rotary cutter. Oops, there we go. I've never had anything like that. I have big ro rotary cutters of various sizes, but nothing ever this tiny. Uh, I'll have to see how you use that differently than the other cutters. The other item that I was like, huh, okay. Um, this is a yarn cutter. Now, I know it specifically says yarn, but then if I were to travel, which not traveling anytime soon, if I were to travel, I think this is the kind you could wear on you if you were going to work on stuff on the plane or while you were gone on your trip and you needed scissors. So we've got yarn cutter there. Oh, I have to think about that one. And this is a Numo, sorry, Nuvo glue pen. And... A few weeks ago, I received my adhesive package in my first order from them. And with it, I received this. It's a bigger bottle, but I think they're the same thing. So, on the other hand, I use glue like nobody's business. So, I don't know that I'd say I'm disappointed by any means. It's just an item I, I've already got to try. So, that's good on that. I was excited to get some of their confetti. This is red carpet circles. Um, I did want to try uh, some of their confetti. Um, then the next thing, and I believe it was from this set, is the embellishment mousse. This one's in a copper tone. And so it's also where you could use it with your embossing. This one I was actually pretty happy about. Uh, I've wondered about getting a craft mat. The only kind I have right now is basically I took a silicone mat from the kitchen stuff and had it as a craft mat if I wanted or just on my glass mat here. But this is a nice uh, 14 by 14 easy clean mat. So I'm looking forward to seeing about using that perhaps. Then there's a selection of their little paper in the pattern, double-sided. I considered buying one that was on sale. Uh, however, I was trying to keep my order under $50 uh, before shipping and tax. And so here, and this is in pretty pastels, so that I like the colors on that. Then uh, we're going to move on to the dies and similar on here. Oh, wait. One other item before I go to the dies. This, I was tickled pink. Not only is it another set of their alcohol markers, so I can compare it with my Spectrum Noirs. It's purple. And I do love purple. They call this Royal Purples. That's the bluer purples. I'm very excited about this item. And it's purple, so it'll go with my... Uh, colors that are in my uh, hibiscus set of colors. Alright, this one is a stencil. It talks about other stencils, but I think it just comes with one. Uh, it's pretty. It's um, on here. It is uh, 5 by 7 so you could use it on a 5 by 7 card. I'll show you if you can tell on the other side. Looks kind of like this one. But it's got different designs to it. So, there you go. Now we go to the dies. And so, we're going to start out with, a, there's a couple of baby ones that were here. And I do make baby cards occasionally, so I was happy to get some baby designs. One is a really cute rocking horse. You can see the size on that about. 
Then this one's a mobile with ABC on there. There's the size on it. You can never have too many sentiments. I like that this one says many thanks in the script it's in. That makes it different from the ones I already have. And it's a pretty decent size on there. Here's happy. And although I have other happies, this is a nice big happy. So that will be nice. Then we go to, there's one stamp. And this is botanical background stamp. And it looks like it is maybe four by six on the size on that. Any of these items I may still have on the site, so that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this, or give you examples of what would come in one of their grab bags. This right here is a cute guitar. I like that. It's a pretty decent size, but I don't really have anything for a rock and roller or music person, so that I like. The last two items are nested dies. We've got hearts, which I may already have some hearts, but these are different. These have like a wide edge to them, and these uh, will cut out shapes. Not borders, but the shapes, unless you were to put them together. But these are hearts on there, and they call it Hearts Layering Basics Die Set. And then the last item, and this item, it says is... 3.85 by 5.5 so it's uh, you know a nice layering size it is an unusual shaped uh, layering die that you would use on your cards or whatever purpose you could also make tags with some of the smaller ones uh, and then it comes down to this teeny tiny on there on the sizing on that so that is the end of my tonic studios cyber week haul um, I'm looking forward to their uh, sale coming up uh, in the new year. Uh, they even mentioned maybe having some of the old magazines. So I'd like to get a hold of one of their magazines to use my magazine die cut set. So thank you for joining me. Be sure to subscribe and like and invite your friends. I will have in the next week, probably in the next day or two, uh, a video on adhesives. Uh, not so much a haul one, not so much a reveal one. This one is going to be a uh, lesson in adhesives, uh, including glues and tape. And I've kind of been getting set up for that. And so it'll tell you a little bit about what to use where and also which ones might be good choices since I have a wide variety. Thank you for joining me. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.